Welcome to Scott Base. Uh, this is the Hillary Field Centre in behind me, the HFC. Uh, this is kind of like the back door into Scott Base, and this is where the events prep to the parts of the field as well. So this is the HFC. Through these roller doors are the event cages where they store all their gear and prepare it for the field. Okay, so this area here is upstairs of the HFC. There's packs and sleeping bags and tents and basically every bit of equipment that you need to head into the field and you'll go through this in your Antarctic Field Skills course. You'll be glad to know we have a gym as well up on the top story of the HFC. This is for your use any time, night or day. So we're just in the linkway that joins the HFC to the rest of the base. Each building in the Scott Base is actually interconnected by a series of passages. So once you come inside, even if it's the same temperature, you don't need to go outside to get to the various buildings. Uh, like I say, it's really warm throughout Scott Base, so you don't want to wear all your outdoors gear. So you can just pop it into your locker and uh, leave all your heavy boots and things at this end of the base. So this is the admin area of Scott Base. You'll come through here to use the sign out book just behind me. Uh, every time you go to leave Scott Base, you just need a sign out to say where you're leaving and when you intend to get back. So behind me is the Scott Base store. This is where you can purchase all the Scott Base memorabilia uh, and some food items as well. Scott Base DVD room. This is where people hang out. If there's a big storm outside, uh, you can come and plug in a DVD and sit back and chill out for the evening. So this is the kitchen and the dining room. At set meal times we come through and just line up to get a buffet style meal, but you can come through any time and grab yourself a drink or a coffee. So adjacent to the kitchen we've got Scott Base Lounge, this is a good place to come and escape and uh, look at the views out towards the sea ice. So at the end of the day, people often come and hang out at the bar here and uh, purchase a few beverages. It's quite a relaxed area and uh, everyone comes just to socialise at the end of the day generally. So in this area is the laundry and bathroom facilities. You have to keep to three minute showers and full loads in the washing machine. So once you're finished with your washing, you can just bang all your washing into the drying room here. And we also have a sauna here available for your use. So behind me is the Q-Hut bunk rooms. This is where the event staff are based and there's about four people to a bunk room. So this area is the corral. This is a great place to come and escape to grab a wee desk to do some work. So upstairs in Q-Hut there's the library here with uh, lots of books available. And finally at the other end of Scott Base you'll find the Hatherson Lab. This is where you'll find the science techs and if you have the patience you can uh, get an internet connection as well. This is the TAE hut. Uh, this is one of the few buildings that's not connected to Scott Base via the linkways and as a result this is where we uh, assemble in a fire drill. So this hut was originally built by uh, Sir Ed and his team and it's now used more just for an assembly area and a museum type thing. You're welcome to come through and uh, have a look at all the old artefacts.